Good day everybody, welcome to Daddy Tube. I'm Quintus and we're going to be reviewing and reacting to another music video today. As you can see in the title, it's Michael W. Smith with Reckless Love. Now, everybody that knows Reckless Love definitely knows it's not Michael's own song. Um, but I mean, Michael's just always been this amazing worship leader and I can't wait to hear his cover of this song. I actually haven't listened to it yet. It was on my list for listening to, but I thought I'll, I'll wait for until I can make this video and watch it with you guys. Maybe you've watched it, maybe you haven't, but let me watch it with you guys. Um, I absolutely love, I, I love Reckless Love, um, written by Corey Asbury. Amazing track for the last two years, like a real worship anthem. Um, but then again, Michael W. Smith, also amazing. Um, so let's just do this, man. Three, two, one. Are you ready? Always. Are you ready? <laughs> man, Michael needs piano. So I've got like the center stage. That's a cool word. You were singing all for me. Man, what a song. What a man just to worship God. So, so good. <laughs> really nice visuals. Sure, man. What? Oh, I just want you to listen to these lyrics. So, so kind to me. No, the overwhelming, never reckless of God. Oh, it chases me down, finds the alarm. Just a 99. I couldn't earn it. I don't deserve it. Here you give yourself away. Man, I honestly want you to tell me how you feel about Michael W. Smith. Tell me, do you like his music? A um, uh, couple of my family members got the opportunity to go watch him a couple of weeks ago and they were just blown away by this amazing man who worships. He's always had this style of just, he can sing anything and it's just, ah, oh, worship God. I think it's his heart, you know, just a heart after God. So, so kind. Oh, the overwhelming never Wow. Man, that's really the heart of the Father. No, it's just so many people just worshiping God. Isn't that amazing when we can just come together as, as believers and just, you know, just... Yeah. If we just believe it, we just come together and we just worship in God, regardless of our denomination, the God of our beliefs and our doctrines and just have one thing in common as Jesus. You won't climb up, come after you. Wow. I hope you know you're important to God. You really, really are. There's no shadow, you won't light up. Mountain, you won't climb up. Coming after me. Man, oh, God loves to pursue his children. I mean, he sent his son to die for you and me, so. What a song. And I can listen to a thousand people sing this in a thousand different versions. And it will always just blow me away because, man, this thing's about my father, this thing's about my God, this thing's about the, 
The savior of heaven and earth who gave his life to me. That's really the thing about God, um, about that piece, it, it's not about him leaving the 99, it's about he goes after the one, and if I focus on the wrong thing, we will miss it. You're always the one, when it gets to you, you are number one, that 99 is the 99, but when it gets to you, you're number one, and that's my prayer for you, that you experience God in that regard, the Father's I'm always the one. I'm always, whether I'm good or I'm bad, when I, whether I do everything right, everything wrong, the Father's heart is always for, for me, towards me. And I think just the whole message about the song, I've read a lot of people speak about it. Oh, so you saying God's reckless, you know, because God is God of all. He's not reckless. He's not any of those things. And that's not what I'm saying. Why I like this song, why I like different versions of this song is I'm a father. I've got three children and everything in life, in my life, uh, me and my wife's life, uh, uh, revolve around these kids and making their life better and just looking after them and giving them a good life and stuff but yes God I want to paint this picture to yes God and he's like he's giving his only son so that I can live so that I can be in a relationship with him so I can I can be called his son. He gives his one and only. And in that regard, his love is reckless. There's, I will not give my children for anything in the world. But yet God, God saw that he is the perfect prize. He is the lamb that needs to be slain. So me, Quintus, and you, whoever you are, your your debt can be paid. Your 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 sickness can be looked after, paid for. Your your poverty, your every, everything. Uh, uh, that is reckless love. He he gave what he had. He gave. He didn't give his his like. Oh, it was just. It was. He gave his best. His only the the. He gave himself. So we can experience him. And that is reckless. And not reckless in the sense of, oh, he doesn't know what he's doing. And he's just, ah, he's reckless. Ah. No, he's reckless in the way about how he feels about you, how he loves you. <sighs> Who is this God we serve? Man, that was, uh, yeah, sorry, I'm, I'm starting a sermon here. Um, so tune in next week for Sermon with Quintus. Um, so uh, this is Reckless Love, um, Michael W. Smith's version. Um, Live in Tennessee, he said, uh, written by Corey Asbury. You can always send me a version of Reckless Love. I'm always going to be blessed by it. This was me today, uh, watching Reckless Love, spending some time with you, a couple of minutes. Thank you for tuning in. I really hope you are blessed by this. And if you are and you made it this far in the video and you can still hear my voice, subscribe. <laughs> You really made it this far. Why don't just hit that subscribe button, click on the notification bell so you can get notified every time we upload videos. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot of reaction and review videos the next couple of weeks and months. But don't worry, we're still going to do some family stuff in between. But right now, this is what I'm focusing on. This is what this channel is doing. I'm enjoying it. I love music. I love, love listening to music. And if there's any music you would love for me to listen to, a band, artist, anything in the Christian scene, whether it be a lyric video, a music video, a live performance, um, and if, if I can get my hands on it, I would like to watch it. Maybe I have. Maybe I have an old, new. I don't care. Comment down below. Tell me what I should react or review next. Until I see you again, I'm Quintus.